one cold, bitter Thursday in Munich, Germany. Eight great football stalwarts conceded victory. Eight men will never play again. We met destruction there. The flowers of English football. The flowers of Manchester. Matt Busby's boys were flying, returning from Belgrade. This great united family, all masters of their trade. The pilots of the aircraft and skipper Captain Fane. Three times they tried to take off and twice turned back again. The third time down the runway, disaster followed close. There was slush on the runway and the aircraft never rose. Roger Byrne and Tommy Taylor, who were capped for England's side. And Ireland's Billy Whelan and England's Jeff Bant died. Mark Jones and Eddie Coleman and David Pegg also. They all lost their lives as the plane ploughed through the snow. And Big Duncan, he went too, with an injury to his brain. And Ireland's brave Jack Manchester will never play again. The great Matt Busby lay there, the father of his team. Three long months passed by before he saw his team again. The trainer, coach and secretary and a member of the crew. Also eight sporting journalists who with United flu. And one of them was Big Swifty, who we'll never ever forget. The finest English keeper that ever graced the net. Oh, England's finest football team. It's record, truly great. It's proud successes mocked by a cruel turn of fate. Eight men will never play again. We met destruction there. The flowers of English football. 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 The flowers of Manchester.